from a plot similar to Sophie's Choice to a despised character who lost his life at the end of Season 4, coming back for the next installment. Here are the things you never thought you would see in The Handmaid's Tale follow-up. Sophie's Choice The Series Almost a year after the premiere of the show's fourth installment, fans are still in disbelief because of what happened in the finale. The showrunner, Bruce Miller, has already shared some details regarding the future of June, Mara, and all other characters that are expected to return in the next, presumably, last part of the series. But his description of Season 5 will surprise a lot of fans because, according to him, the fifth part is the same as Sophie's Choice, the series. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Shortly after fans saw the thrilling finale, Miller talked about the uncertain future of the characters, especially after that major event when one of the worst villains lost his life thanks to June and the other handmaids who helped her. While he didn't share many details, he compared it to the novel and the film adaptation of Sophie's Choice, which, for those of you not familiar, included characters who survived concentration camps. With this comparison, he referred to June and her choices in the latest part and how her closest ones need to move on with someone who just killed a person for the purpose of revenge. <laughs> Fred is back. Commander Fred Waterford will come back for the next installment, even though June Osborne and her fellow handmaids finally gave him what he deserved. But here's the thing. Since Fred played an important role in June's sufferings and had a huge impact on Serena, his wife, he will have to come back through flashbacks. According to most fans, he'll come back through a flashback in which we'll find out more of Serena's joyful memories with him. But his absence is also expected to lead the plot of Season 5. Even though he is not capable of harming June anymore, the consequences of what she did to him will have to be shown in the follow-up. Where are we? Are we even in Gilead anymore? Hmm? Moving, what Commander. jurisdiction do you have to hold me? Gilead will go after June. As already mentioned, one of the most satisfying moments of Season 4 was, without a doubt, the end of Commander Fred Waterford. After what seemed like a century, June decided to kill the man that caused most of her suffering under Gilead's regime. Considering his crimes, Gilead wouldn't be as bothered by his death. Those people never really cared for him anyway. But the protagonist's actions will certainly have consequences. Gilead people care a lot about women staying silent, and they never want any of them to show power. When June ended Fred's life, she showed them just how powerful women could be, which is not something Gilead would be proud of. A get-out-of-jail-free card is not what we should expect for the protagonist in the next season. I want to speak to my lawyer immediately. You no longer have a lawyer. The pivot point of the show. According to Miller, the show's next part will reach the pivot point. Does this mean we're about to see the final season of the series? Let's find out. There has been an ongoing debate on the internet about The Handmaid's Tale ending. Some fans are pretty convinced the story should end with the fifth season because they don't want to see a repetitive plot, while others are hoping for the series to continue beyond its fifth season. As of this moment, the creators and its streaming home Hulu are yet to confirm whether the next installment is the last one. But according to the showrunner, the show is reaching its pivot point. At least that's what he said in a 2022 interview with The Hollywood Reporter. I know where I am in this story, and I do feel like we're kind of reaching a pivot point. But whether that's the end or not, I don't know. It just feels like it's a good time to reassess what we were thinking. Just because the story world has opened up, because the real world has changed so much, he explained. Then, in an interview with ET Canada in January 2022, and Dowd said that there are two seasons left. What are your hopes? Do you want the series to go beyond season five? Let us know. I get that Fred Waterford is giving you information that you feel will save lives. Serena becomes a handmaid. One big revelation is awaiting Serena in the next installment. Once she finds out her husband is dead, she will have to deal with a lot of things. According to Yvonne Strahovski, the worst is about to come for her character. In an interview with Bazaar.com, the actress said that it would be fun to play if Serena did get sent back to Gilead and become a handmaid because she's now a fertile woman. And we'll finally see how she would handle that. But then again, she believes that such a storyline seems too obvious. An alternative is Serena becoming some kind of spokeswoman, picking up where she left off pre-Gilead, writing a book, 
getting a following and becoming the female president of Canada. What do you guys think will happen to her in the next season? Do you have any theory? Let us know. Sure, friend, we can zoom. Luke leaves June. All Luke ever wanted was for June to let go. But considering everything this woman has been through, all her struggles, suffering, and tribulations, she only had one purpose, revenge. She finally felt that inner peace when ending the life of the person who was responsible for 90% of her traumas. But Luke doesn't seem to be really pleased with her choice. He actually feels like June has traded her relationship with her family with a sweet feeling of revenge. After she came back with Fred's blood on her hands, June asked her husband for a few minutes with her daughter Nicole. And we all know what that means. June feels like she's no longer welcomed in her home. Recently, Wiley appeared on an episode of The View in the interview. While trying to stay as spoiler-free as possible, Wiley tried to explain what fans should expect from the new installment. According to her, we'll see a new version of June, one that has resources around her now that she hasn't had before living in Gilead. And last but not least, we'll see how June can fight Gilead from within Canada with the help of her friends. That's Wiley's version of the continuation. Just give me five minutes, okay? Aunt Lydia turns against Gilead. There are hundreds of villains in the Handmaid's Tale, from commanders to their wives, and well, every person who is assigned to torture the poor handmaids under the awful regime. But Anne Dowd's Aunt Lydia is slowly transforming from one of the most hated characters to a softer version we can actually stand. Fans of the novel that the show is based on expected to see the character development in Aunt Lydia because in Margaret Atwood's 2019 sequel novel to The Handmaid's Tale, titled The Testaments, we find out that Aunt Lydia is the one that puts an end to Gilead. In fact, she has been working on its destruction ever since the beginning. We don't believe this storyline will be used in the show, because there would have been more clues in Season 4 if that was the case. But we can be sure that she'll still have a major role in bringing Gilead down, starting from Season 5. Perhaps she would benefit from your unique perspective. Why don't you bring her breakfast? On a related note, what are your hopes for the next installment of the popular Hulu series? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.